We have a global climate change that we have already seen effects of that in ma many ways in the past few years. Clearly, the, the, there's a problem of water. And, and in the population, that's going to increase from 7 to 8 or 9 or 10 billion or whatever. We really don't have much more land to grow the food. So absolutely the only way to be, we are able to feed this increasing population. And in a manner that is sustainable without having to, 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 to decrease the, some of the resource base that we have with the land, water, and are to make a negative impact on the environment is to see how we can use the best of our science and technologies and combine with the most prudent policies to bring about an increase in food production and do it in a truly sustainable manner so as to be, as to be feeding our future generations not only good food, wholesome food, but in a manner that they can afford. Most questions I get is, how can you assure me that this is safe? You know, and you know, when we have been developing new varieties of crop plants, we have been using many cruder ways of doing that before. When you have a tomato, you cross it to the wild tomato, you bring in a lot of unsafe toxins and allergens into that. And we've been doing all along. Compared to that, biotechnology is a far more precise way of developing a new variety of tomato. You already have a tomato that you like, and we're not going to change any of that, but just bring in a gene from potato or something that we've already been eating and bring it into that. It's not going to change your tomato into anything less harmful, but we are not going to take that for granted. We have literally a, a battery of tests for three or four years that we test this to, uh, to scientifically in every possible manner to make sure that the product you got is safe and it is certified by a whole range of agencies, uh, regulatory agencies, not just in the United States, but many, many other countries. And so we have a perfect uh, safety record of this technology, but no other technology uh, can claim. You look, you know, the iPhone, the smartphone you got, uh, if you put an app to that, like a snapshot or something, it will give you an extra functionality, but it is not going to change your iPhone in any way. And so adding a new gene to a banana that makes it uh, perhaps disease resistance or increased vitamin A is just like adding an app to your iPhone. And with some of the newer technologies, including gene editing, we'll be able to change the nutrient composition of practically all food crops that we eat and make sure that we have uh, enhanced amount of nutrients that are, that are necessary for us and also downregulate or produce less of some of the anti-nutrients like cyanide in cassava and some other cyanogenic glucosides in sorghum and neurotoxin that is there in a very important grain legume that we eat in India. And these cause uh, untold miseries for people who consume that, and we, are, we will be able to eliminate it.